All right, guys, page 178 of your student journal, uh, section 6.5, geometric sequences. How can you use a geometric sequence to describe a pattern? So if you look at this, what operation is that? X, that means multiply. So um, really, geometric sequences is when you're multiplying by the same number. Um, and what's going to help us a lot is if we have this equation right here, uh, let A of N be the nth term of a geometric sequence with first term A, uh, a of 1 and common ratio R, the nth term is given by A, uh, a, of, a of N equals A of 1 uh, times R to the N minus 1, or sorry, the nth A, <laughs> or to the f equals the first A, however you want to read that. Um, let's make up a first number, I will pick 3. And I'm going to multiply by negative 2. So I'll say negative 6. Uh, negative 6 times two, negative 2 is positive 12. 12 times negative 2 is negative 24. Uh, times negative 2 is positive 48. So this is the first number, the second number, the third number, the fourth number, the fifth number. And let's say I want to find the eighth number. So it seems that uh, every even one is going to be odd. Or sorry, negative. So you could basically guarantee that this is going to be negative. And let's see. A to the the eighth A is the first A, or 3, times the common ratio is negative 2 times N, or 8, minus 1, or 7. So we have 3 times negative 2 to the 7th power. I'll let's use a scientific calculator for this. 3 times 2 to the negative 7th power. Uh, what happened? Oh, sorry. Negative 2 to the 7th power. Oh, I'm being crazy. To the 7th power. Negative 384. So negative 384. Uh, let's see here. 48, negative 96. Negative 96. Negative 96 times negative 2. Positive 192 times negative 2, negative 384. What do you know? There it is, 5, 6, 7, 8. So it all checks out. Here it is. Uh, pretty, again, using the formula is pretty technical, but it's simple. You just have to identify the first term, the common ratio, or the number that we keep multiplying by. <clears throat> and that's it. You just have to say, what is what am I starting at, and what do I keep multiplying by? It's really two numbers you got to identify, and then you just Right, rewrite this thing. So uh, let's get let's get into it. So determine whether the secret is arithmetic, geometric, or neither. So geometric is when you are multiplying. Uh, arithmetic is when you are adding or subtracting. And neither is if it's neither. So let's see here. Uh, this is a. Uh, let's see if it's geometric. We can do the same trick we did before with exponential functions, where we just take a number and divide it by the previous number, by the previous term, and then again and again. And if we get the same thing, then we're good. So negative 64, uh, sorry, uh, negative 64 divided by 4, negative 16, or sorry, divided by 16, negative 16, negative 64 divided by 16 equals negative 4. If we divide, sorry, we get negative 4 here. 16 divided by negative 4. So I'll say 16 divided by negative 4. I get negative 4 again. And negative 4 divided by 1 is negative 4. So I'm multiplying by negative 4. This is geometric, geometric, multiplying by constant ratio of negative 4. Uh, here, you could try the 15 divided by 11, 11 divided by 7, 7 divided by 3. For the sake of time, I'll tell you it's not going to work out. And really, we're adding by 4. Now, if we're adding, it is an arithmetic sequence. Arithmetic adding by each time. 
uh, let's see, two times, let's see, 32 divided by eight is times four, or sorry, divide, divided by four, eight divided by four is two, so you have four, two, and two, uh, this is neither. Because if you add two here, and you add four here, oh, that doesn't work out, so it's neither. Neither. We are not adding, subtracting, or multiplying by the same number or by a constant. Alrighty. Uh, sorry. I do that for four, five, and six, same techniques. Write the next three terms. Uh, if you're not sure how to find the common ratio, you just take any term and divide by the previous term. So I always have shown you going from the end. Let's just go here, 63 divided by 21. 63 divided by 21. So you're multiplying by three, so times three. 189 times three. And you just keep multiplying by three. 567 times three, uh, and whatever you get times three. Uh, let's see, the constant here, 144 divided by 288 is 0.5. So we're multiplying by 0.5. Multiply by 0.5. So 72 times 0.5 is 36, and then you will go on, and you know what, since it's the first one over here, I'll just do all three. 567 times three, 1701 times three, 5103. And you guys will do that uh, each time. So D divide to get the common ratio. The common ratio in this problem is negative two. Uh, write the next two terms, the geometric sequence, then graph the sequence again. You're literally doing the same thing you did for seven through nine. You're just dividing uh, one term by the previous term to get the common ratio. So this ends up being 0.5. Um, so this actually ends up being three over four. Dividing by two is the same thing as multiplying the denominator by two. Three over eight and three over 16. Um, the way sequences work is you start off with the first number, second number, third, fourth, fifth, sixth. And you can actually turn this into a table where these are your x values, one, two, three, four, five, six, and these are your y values, 12, six, three, three, Three halves, three eighths, three sixteenths. Um, you could do that for all of these. The constant here is multiplying by five. So one times five is five, 25 and 125. Obviously you're not gonna fit all these on a graph. That's all right. Uh, you're not gonna fit these on a graph either, but do your best. Scale it. Uh, write an equation for the nth term. Okay, so now we're going to go back to here. Really, like I said, we just have to find the initial, the constant, uh, what's it called? The constant ratio, and then n minus 1. So the first number, 6, 5, 6, 1. What is my constant ratio? It seems like I'm dividing by 3 or multiplying by one third, let's see, 243 divided by 729. 243 divided by 729, that is indeed one third. So a to the, of the sixth term is six minus one is five. So I could say six, five, six, one, six, five, six, one, oh, oops. 6561 parentheses. 1 divided by 3. Oops. 1 divided by 3. 3 to the fifth power. 27. There it is. That's it. Use a calculator. Calculator is your best friend. Write out the formula though. Next, um, really, these 16 and 17 are the same. It just, you could ignore all these and just look at this. This is the same setup as these four numbers. So you'll write 2916 
and then you find the find the constant ratio first term and you know the way I'm using it I had written it up here already so just use it copy it so you don't have to flip back and forth um, here's the same you're looking at your y values 2 6 18 54 your x values are 1 2 3 4 that's the way to make it look just like the previous section just like that you could pretty much just go for the y's and go for it all right guys that's it for geometric sequences multiplying by uh, the same number again here your sequence is 8 negative 4 2 negative 1 0.5 um, how do I know that 1 2 3 4 5 you just go in order um, if you have any questions uh, ask your teacher or let me know